Hey everybody, it's Paul Yokobitis from Cary State Planning, back with another video as part of our 366 video challenge in 2020. And I wanted to speak briefly about estate planning after separation from your spouse. If two spouses become separated, what does planning need to look like and why is it important? And so generally, estate planning is an, a very important uh, provision that needs to be taken care of during any separation or divorce because your priorities have, have drastically shifted as far as who should serve on your behalf and who should get whatever you leave behind. And in some cases, if you have a minor child, uh, who the remainder you know, guardian should be in the event that something happens to you. So first and foremost, during any separation, you wanna make sure that you have removed your ex-spouse from any financial accounts that they would otherwise be designated on, like life insurance and, and IRAs and those sorts of things. But you also want to terminate any existing healthcare or financial powers of attorney that may name your spouse and then uh, replace them with new agents to act on your behalf. Uh, you generally wouldn't want your ex-spouse to be able to make medical decisions for you, uh, especially the end of life type of medical decisions. So appointing someone from your family or close friends to uh, replace the type of role that your spouse would have uh, you know, occupied is incredibly important. You also, want to make sure that you're disinheriting them as much as you possibly can. Now during a separation, but prior to a divorce or separation agreement being entered, you generally can't you know, override default you know, spousal inheritance rights under what's called our elective share, but you definitely want to try, if at all possible, to make sure that those sorts of provisions are terminated uh, as you know, to, the, to the full extent of the law, you know, pending a separation agreement or divorce decree uh, because you, you certainly don't want to inadvertently leave wealth to your ex-spouse uh, or give them authorities over your estate or your final wishes that they shouldn't otherwise have. So getting those planning provisions in place should start during your separation. And certainly those are, are uh, provisions you wanna make sure you include in a separation agreement, you know, term, term, terminating, excuse me, uh, spousal rights to make decisions or spousal rights of inheritance or to serve as a fiduciary of the estate and those sorts of things. So just because the, the uh, separation is not final or the divorce is not final doesn't mean you shouldn't plan yet. It's actually the perfect time to be planning. If you're going through separation or if you have additional questions about a separation, you can go ahead and drop those in the comment section below or go ahead and click the link below to contact us to get on our calendar for an initial strategy meeting. And we'd be happy to discuss what types of planning provisions are needed in your circumstances. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day and, and great week and uh, keep an eye out for additional videos uh, moving forward. And be sure to uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional content moving forward. Uh, this is Paul Yokobitis with Carrier State Planning. Have a great rest of your day.